morning. My name is Renee Eckerd with the Early Childhood Service Corps team. Today, I'm going to read the book Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon busted out in laughter. What is that? he asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months, many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at a crumpled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vacious, she exclaimed. Vacious? Raymond looked closer. When he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls, he began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energized, thinking Ishley allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt loose lines and quick springing out without a worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him, making Ish drawings felt wonderful. His, he filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Raymond realized he could draw his feelings, ish feelings too. Pieces, silly-ish, excite-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poemish. Ponder, pon ponder, 
dream yonder. Pon pon, yon yon, gleam wander. Raymond. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Raymond lived ishfully ever after. The Endish. Well, it was nice reading a book today with all of you. Don't forget Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. Have a good day.